School officials in Berwick area plan to limit access to a popular program, the Scholastic Book Fair. As Newswatch 16's Nikki Cries explains, because of concerns over the content of certain books, the book fair will no longer be offered during the school day. For many students in elementary and middle school, the Scholastic Book Fair is a highlight of the school year. Students shop in a mini bookstore set up inside the school. But when the book fair comes around again in the spring, things will be a bit different in the Berwick area school district. According to the district superintendent, because of increasing concerns from parents, teachers and administrators, the Scholastic Book Fair will no longer be held during the school day like the one held this past week. The event scheduled for May will be held online and at night when parents are able to shop with their children. Superintendent Wendy Kupski said, quote, we have multiple other opportunities for books during the day for students, including but not limited to the Reading is Fundamental program, book donations from United Way, the school library. If the kids want to read any kind of book, we should just be allowing them to read it because sooner or later, no matter what we think about, they're going to do it. They're going to find it online. You go to Google, you're going to find it. Parents we spoke with aren't happy with the change. John Kelly Jr. has a child in second grade. I think they should still continue it the way they have it because it gives the kids a learning chance, you know, how to buy stuff on their own in the future reference when they get older and stuff instead of relying on their parents and stuff. And it's just a good experience for them in school. Kupski tells Newswatch 16 a teacher found at least one book with profanity at the most recent book fair. The superintendent says some parents and administrators also express concerns about violence in books geared toward elementary school students. But parents we talked with had fewer reservations. They should be able to read whatever they want and it helps them progress in their skill levels of reading and stuff. Just trust your kids and trust they know what they do like they know what they're doing. It's just basically a freedom of speech. We're going to find bad words. We're going to find discriminations and things like that. But this is a part of today's world. You know, and we just got to keep on moving on every single day and our kids will learn. Kupski says the Berwick area school district is also looking at book vending machines, which would allow officials to easily monitor titles. Nikki cries Newswatch 16 Columbia County.